Hey, and welcome back to Emlyn in the Mix, where we discuss things all music technology, software and hardware, recording gear, studio gear, instruments, and more. If you love that sort of thing, then you're going to love the Emlyn in the Mix podcast. Now, let's get on with the show with your host, yours truly, Emlyn. 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 Hey, and welcome back to the Emlyn In The Mix podcast, season four, episode nine. We've got an amazing little podcast for you guys today, checking out the Percussion Factory from UVI. If you've just come to this video or this podcast to check that out, I'll have a timeline down below if you're watching us here on YouTube. If not, then just skip along to the end to check out Percussion Factory as we do a live demo of that what is percussion factory it is an amazing instrument with worldwide percussion instruments and sequencing to boot you're gonna love it stick around for that but before we do i've got to mention some amazing things of course about music technology music news music gear and hardware software you name it we cover it here on the channel that is of course what this podcast is about and for those of you who are regular listeners thank you so much for coming back time and time again all of the support links will be down below as always and affiliate links when affiliate links are mentioned will be down below i just want to do a big shout out for those of you who have brought me a coffee because you can support the channel by buying me a coffee link will be down below if you love what i do or you've been listening to this podcast and you want to give us a shout out you can do that click that link down below it definitely helps in supporting and keeping this podcast going and getting this news to you and a big shout out this actual show is dedicated to i hope i'm saying this name right sergey or sergey thank you so much uh he shouted me a coffee last week so i want to dedicate this podcast to you we haven't done that before but sergey i hope i'm saying your name right anyway without further ado let's just get stuck into today's podcast and what is happening around the world in the way of music technology and the first one here comes to us 303 day and that is a little promotion going over at d16 group who make the amazing fozone 2 which we covered here on the channel you can check out the youtube channel emlyn in the mix of course later after this podcast and check out my review on fozone 2 fizon 2 my goodness we're gonna have fun butchering names today <laughs> um check that out when you get a chance after this podcast of course but they have a 303 day sale which is 50% off Fizon 2, but this is a very limited sale. So probably most of my listeners, when they hear this podcast, I hope not, but the sale may be over and I do apologize because this only runs from the 2nd of March to the 5th of March to celebrate 303 day respectively. Of course, today is actually the 3rd of March, depending on where you live in the world. I'm actually in the future, believe it or not. I'm in, I'm in the 4th of March right now. I'm, I'm beating you guys to this uh, promotion here but no of course it will run a little bit longer if you are uh, down under where everything is like a day ahead so yeah get Fizen 2 50% off man you got to check that let's jump over let's have a listen I am digressing on so many levels already in this podcast so that's what this podcast is about is about me and all about me and that's all that Matt and no, I'm just kidding it is about you and what can you get out of this podcast and hopefully i inspire but check this out this is Fizon 2 you can get under the hood man again you just got to check out that freaking video i did but here's an intro here let's have a quick listen hopefully squelchy acid bass for y'all because that's what you want to hear when you have an acid line Fizon 2 instrument 50 percent off here we go Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to hear. That squelchy bass. We got there in the end. 
That's what the acid line is all about. And you can make so much of this with Faison too. It is just so much fun. It doesn't have to be this genre, by the way. But man, they did a good job with the emulation on this. And the GUI is just absolutely divine. Absolutely one of the best 303 emulations out there. The last 303 as they are touting it. And po quite possibly, yes. I mean, the way they've preserved this and... You know, it's based on the TB303, for those of you who don't know, which is an old school Roland bass instrument from like literally from the 80s or something. And what people found was that you could make this, that sound, that like almost, well, did produce a genre of music by, it wasn't essentially meant to be played fast and it wasn't meant to be squelchy like that, but they, people worked out it had this incredible filter and resonance on it where you could make this really crazy acid bass lines and that's, more or less techno and all other genres sort of spawned from that TB303 back in the day. But here we have it, software form 40 or 30 years later and well, well preserved in this emulation. Well done, D16 group. I'm not giving this a, I feel like I'm giving it a review again. Anyway, check out my video. A lot of fun after this podcast, of course. All right, let's move along. Complete 14 and Friends promotion is happening right now for the month of March 2023. So if you're listening to this in 3033, I apologize because you're a thousand years late and I don't even know, would native instruments be here in a thousand years? I hope so. I like native instruments. They, they are friends to this podcast indeed. But right now you can buy Complete 14 and get free, free NKS plugins from their friends. And these are not just any old plugins. These, and I'm going to have to probably show these off on the channel at some stage. These are a lot of fun. So for a limited time, Native Instruments is offering extra grif gifts with their complete bundles from their NKS partners, Artistry Audio, Wide Blue Sound, and Steroz Sampling, probably butchering that, Strezoz Sampling. Level up your sub game with Monolith's cutting edge bass technology, or dive into the organic pads and pulsing arpeggios of Elysium and unlock authentic vocals, brass and percussions from Balkan Ethnic Orchestra, all NKS compatible and ready to roll, offer ends March 30. Okay, affiliate link, full disclosure, affiliate link will be down below because we partner here with Native Instruments on the Emlyn in the Mix podcast. If you want to get Complete 14 or you've been eyeing off Complete 14 or perhaps you saw my article, yes, I wrote an article about the Complete 14 Bundles, which is on DJ Tech Tools' website right now. Go over there, just Google Emlyn in the Mix, and it should come up, Complete 14. Or just Google the Complete 14 Bundle article. Read that article, by the way, because I give you a complete breakdown of what is included in each bundle. Anyway, I'm digressing there. Uh, so right now... Depending on which bundle you get, you're going to get a free NKS plugin. So the first, the first tier is the Complete 14 Standard, which is a nice bundle. It's pretty much got everything you could possibly need. And now you get Monolith for free. Now, Monolith is amazing. I was almost going to show it on the podcast today, but we'll just play this little demo here for you because I want to do a dedicated video for it. Monolith is a limited bass engine ready to propel your productions to dizzy new heights, create with hundreds of heavyweight presets to quickly cut through your mix or go under the hood to build bass tones that are all on your own all of your own now yeah when i played with monolith it is one of the nicest bass sounding instruments i've had to play with or the pleasure to play with for a little while i'm very happy with it or a long while even i dare say anyway let's have a quick listen to monolith's audio demo here we go Nice. Anyway, I'm going to stop the demo down there, but you get the idea. The bass is really nice, really cuts through the mix, as they say, and it's just really, 
I don't know what else to say. It's just a really good bass instrument. Monolith is free with complete 14 standard. Now, as we jump up the tiers, if you buy complete 14 ultimate, you get Elysium. Now, Elysium is a powerful synthesizer and sound design tool that combines organic pulses with a diverse range of beautiful evolving sounds from modding synths to classic keys to live percussion and even a full string orchestra. So not only do you get Elysium, but you also get Monolith as well. And then if we jump up to the last bundle here, complete 14 collector's edition, you get the Balkan Ethnic Orchestra, which is about 30 gigabytes of ethnic sampled orchestral instruments and here's what native instruments has to say access a huge collection of the finest folk instruments from the balkans balkan brass band vocal quartet solo for folk instruments and percussions allow you to compose an authentic eastern european sound so i mean what is not to love about this beautiful native instruments complete 14 and friends sale check it out link down will be down below all right, moving along, Autotune has released a vocal compressor. Now, it seems to me that Autotune is just releasing plugin after plugin, and they've sort of made their almost like they really have made their own environment for you. If you get into the Autotune, Autotune environment, you can almost just stay there because they sort of have everything you need. And especially with this vocal compressor, I know it doesn't seem that exciting, but Autotune has a way of making anything seem exciting. So what is it? Autotune Vocal Compressor is an advanced dual stage compressor for modern vocal production. Key compression styles driven by next generation machine learning make finding the best compression settings fast and easy. It's got dual stage attack, intelligent compression. So using advanced machine learning technology, AI, maybe, I don't know. Autotune Vocal Compressor analyzes your track and recommends the optimum starting point and compression le levels to get the sound you want. That's pretty cool. It's also got artist presets from industry leaders and you can warm up your audio, apply a cozy vibe of tube saturation harmonics. Okay, not the most exciting thing on the planet, but here, let, let me show you Autotune and how they're good at hyping up pretty much anything. And I just said it's probably a good plugin. I don't want to downplay this plugin here, by the way. I'm just saying that if you do get into Antares or uh, like their subscription based model, you're going to get so much now. Like you're pretty much going to get your whole environment of effects plugin suite that you could, all you could possibly need. Plus your door, you'd have so much. Anyway, let's have a listen here. Let's check out what they have to say. Introducing AutoTune Vocal Compressor, the world's first dual stage compressor plugin with machine learning. The most popular vocal compression styles in advanced machine learning combine for one powerful experience. Fed Opto A, Opto B, and modern compression styles stack together in any order for maximum control. Machine learning automatically recommends starting points and compression levels for faster results. Artist presets make it easy to experiment with new ideas, and built-in tube saturation delivers the cozy vibe of analog sound. Experience the evolution of music production with AutoTune Vocal Compressor, dual stage compression with machine learning. See, see what I mean? They make it sound so freaking exciting. Anyway, just it is a vocal compressor. It is, yes, a world first here, having the machine learning in a dual stage vocal compressor. There you go. Antares Autotune, new compressor. Okay, we've got another effects plugin here, which is brand new. It just happened this last week. I know we're not getting them from the heavy hitters, but this was very interesting. This is called Cluster Delay from Minimal Audio. Now, don't downplay this one either because this, actually, the demo, and this is really nice. I'm going to quickly show you. So, introducing Cluster Delay a delay plugin with personality. Create unique musical effects at blend seamlessly into your tracks. Complex delays, effortless control, lush spaces and echo soundscapes, six integrated effects and more, and diverse preset library. Choose from a hundred versatile presets ranging from retro tape delays to modern soundscapes. I want to show you these demos because this is freaking cool. It's not an expensive plugin here too. You can see available for 49 bucks. Looks like a really fun effects, creative effects plugin. All right, let's have a listen to this uh, vocal here. I won't hold you back. I won't hold you back. All right, let's put on the minimal audios cluster delay on this vocal here we go i won't hold you back i won't hold you back see it's interesting hey hyper build all 
All right, let's listen to it with Cluster Delay. Nice. And Moon Gazing. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Here we go. Speak your mind. Speak your Speak your some great demos there from Minimal Audio. Check it out, Cluster Delay. Gosh, I can't even speak. A new plugin here from Minimal Audio. All right, next, Emlyn in the Mix. Yes, that's right. The podcast, the YouTube channel, whatever it is that you're listening, watching us on, is doing a competition for you. Now, I didn't include this at the start of the podcast because I haven't actually set up this competition right now, but I will if you're listening right now and you're on the ball and you listen to this podcast the whole way through, then you deserve to be a part of this competition because two lucky winners are going to win. Yes, two lucky winners are going to win this instrument who listen and support this show and this podcast which is Emergent Drums by Audio Lab. So Audio Lab and Emlyn in the Mix have teamed together to give away two of these instruments. And what is Emergent Drums, you ask? Well, funny you should ask that because I don't think I've ever really reviewed or checked this out on the channel besides maybe doing some shorts on it where I used it with the Nectar Aura here, my MIDI drum controller. It is a a, an amazing, actually very interesting instrument that uses artificial intelligence to generate the sounds or the samples. I don't know what you want to call them because they're not necessarily samples. They're never be heard, never before, never be heard. Is that a word? Be heard. I like that. Never before heard sounds that get generated by artificial intelligence. This is really freaking cool. Anyway, I'm going to be giving away two of these. The link won't be down below straight away, but if you remember, but I'll promote it anyway, but eventually I'll update this video with a link down below once the competition is ready. I was just getting all of the terms and conditions done so I could get this delivered to you guys. I just hadn't, hadn't got it done before this podcast, but I am giving away two copies at the start. So the competition will go for a month and we'll end it in the start of April sometime. And all the details for that will come in due course, but let's just have a listen to artificial intelligence because this could be yours. Here we go. Emergent drums. Glitchy, nice, interesting, glitchy alien soundscape there. Emergent drums being used, and yeah, we're gonna have a competition on this. We haven't haven't got a link, but we will have it eventually down below. So stay tuned. Two lucky winners of listeners and supporters of Emlyn in the Mix will win. All right, let's move along to our next piece of news here. And Jamstick has released a new Studio MIDI Guitar Headstock Edition. And basically, this new Headstock Edition is a Studio MIDI Guitar with 22 fret electric guitar and full MIDI capabilities, which is powered by the Jamstick signal processing technology and proprietary algorithms. So this was a new drop. I thought this was interesting because... I don't know if you've seen the other Jamstick MIDI guitars. They didn't necessarily have these headstocks like this. So this is a really nice looking guitar. And the fact it's got full MIDI playback capabilities. For those of you who are learning or you're an avid guitar player, this is definitely for you because you can play your notes into the computer with this. I mean, that is just freaking cool. Now, I know that that sort of technology has been around for a while, but they make it really easy. The Jamstick, you can see it's got USB here. You got an on-off button. It's not like your regular traditional guitar. Like, it is definitely special and something unique indeed. And, yeah, 
This electric guitar features a HSS pickup configuration, five position toggle pickup switching, two tone knobs and one volume knob and a standard quarter inch out wide MIDI out options include a USB-C to USB-A cable, so you could just do that, or a TRS MIDI cable. And you can also, check this out, connect it wirelessly via Bluetooth. Very cool indeed. The Jamstick Studio MIDI guitar headstock edition is out now. And I just wanted to talk about it because I think that's really cool. Another piece of news here before we get to our main feature is that Pioneer DJ released a brand new mixer. And I know that might not seem exciting, but if you are a DJ or if you're a performer and you love Pioneer DJ, you're going to love this piece of news here because this new DJ mixer, the DJM A9, is a next generation professional DJ mixer. And essentially, what they've done is they've gotten their best mixer, I think the Nexus 2000 or whatever their latest one was, and they've just improved upon it. And I think I like that about Pioneer DJ. They don't necessarily go too off the bounds or, you know, where they've been successful. They generally, what they do is they get what was successful and they build upon that. And this is a really nice, really nice looking mix. I mean, if I had the coin, I would definitely like to get one of these mixes. So they've just increased the spacing on this mixer in terms of like your equalizers here. They've added just small refinements, like I said, just improving upon what was already good. Like the color knob here, which is this one in the middle. I don't know if you can see my mouse there on the screen, but essentially that has a center switch now so when you get to the center it actually stops whereas before it didn't do that which i find almost hard to believe it didn't already have that you've also got this x pad here which can you can run your finger over and hopefully you, can, you, you probably can't even see let's see if we can zoom in here this is crazy this is crazy oh that's pretty cool we can zoom right in so the x pad here and there's a brand new beat repeater effect built into beat effects so you can sort of just go you know you can do that sort of grid lock um x pad slide your finger over sort of do, 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 like that i guess i don't know i don't have one here but hopefully that explains it everything's sort of where you would expect it on the pioneer dj mixer you've got your effect section down here your q uh, it just looks really nice you've even got dual usb input here if you could sort of run two different computers which is blowing that blows my mind that you can have it connected to two different uh, DJ software's there. Anyway, check it out. The DJM A49. I'm not going to go too much more into detail on that because we want to get to our main feature here, but that dropped by Pioneer DJ. All right, here we are. Main feature. It is Percussion Factory from UVI. Thank you to our friends at UVI. I'll have a link down below. No affiliate link here, but they did give us the opportunity to check this out. So thank you to UVI for letting us check this out. Link down below if you want to go check out the Percussion Factory by UVI or you want to go get it, sorry. Now, what is it? Percussion Advanced. So Percussion Factory was designed to be a modern all-in-one solution for creative percussion sound sequences and performance equipped with an advanced engine offering intelligent preset generation, real-time sequence modifiers, morphable groove, a creative topology outfitted for sound design over 1,000 percussion sounds, 4,000 sequences, whoa capturing traditional music styles from around the world, native user sample support, and much more. And Percussion Factory does a lot, and importantly, it makes it easy to do. Much of the design complexity sits below the surface, resulting in a streamlined and intuitive experience that puts creativity at the forefront. Whether you are focusing on instrument design, sequencing, or mixing, dedicated views give you the correct level of details for the task at hand, while sophisticated tools and a clever use of machine learning help you to achieve great sounding results with ease. Wow, machine learning seems to be entering into pretty much all of our plugins and instruments to this day. So there's a couple of videos here, but we won't do that because we're going to give you a real life live demo. So you can create Percussion Factory includes a large and versatile library of percussion sounds collected from all over the world. You've got the groove sequence here, so you can sequence sections of the Percussion Factory include a number of innovative features such as sample auto intelligent, dynamic sequence modifiers, morphable groove, and more. Tweak, perform. Look, I think we just, ah, oh, this actually, we do need to mention this before we get into it. I, I'm too excited, I just want to get stuck into it. But so the perform actually element of this instrument is quite prevalent. I was playing with 
it before this podcast, and it really is built around performance. So Percussion Factory was designed for hands-on use and excels as a performance-based instrument. This is true. With features like real-time sequencing, decimation, dedicated solo, mute keys, per part evolution, and performance macros, it's easy to take control of the groove and create evolving rhythms that follow your lead. Gone are the days of working with static loops, experience rhythm as it should be with movement progression and a human touch. Now that that part is a true statement. Let me just show you, before going to the live demo, right, I can press down one key. I'm going to just play back some Percussion Factory, which is over on Ableton Live, and it's going to play the full preset, how it was meant to be played. Let's have a listen to this. How cool is that? And then if I go down an octave, I can actually play the individual parts. So we got, so they're all here and their rhythms and so forth. Anyway, it is a lot of fun. So let's jump over. Let's just go over here because obviously I'm already just too excited and I want to show it to you guys. All right, so hopefully you can see it all happy there. I'm just going to move it across so you can see it a bit better. Okay, here we have Percussion Factory. Now this is working out of the UVI workstation, which is my sample Rompler instrument. Workstation allows me to play with any of the UVI instruments that I have simply by loading it here, just clicking the little folder, we'll pull up all your instruments. Now when we click on that, We've got Percussion Factory, of course, and then we've got a bunch of categories like World Tour, you've got Realistic, Modern, Process, Shaken, Hand Drum, Metal and Wood, Heavy and Instruments, and then you've got Subcategories, and then you've got your actual preset kits. And with over a thousand plus percussion sounds, you can imagine there's going to be a lot of presets. I actually want to check out, we'll come back to World Tour, I want to check out Modern. So if we jump over to Modern, here we've got a bunch of different subcategories, Bayer Street, Berlin Walk, Black... Oh, these are the presets, sorry, not the subcategories. Let's check our cover, Cavern Club. And just make sure, do I need to go up one more? No, let's go up one more, here we go. Nice. So that's just me holding down one note. Now, the only thing, and maybe I'm completely wrong, and probably someone's watching this in the future, is I wish this had a latch, this instrument, because I have, I've actually got my sustain pedal down below. Unless it isn't set up properly, I can hold that down. But what would be amazing if I just press the key, right, and then I hold the sustain pedal and it just... No hands, mum. Look, no hands. But that doesn't happen for some reason. Maybe that's just me. I haven't got it set up properly. So I'll press it down again. All right, my sustain pedal's down. No. Nah. Can't do the no hands here. Yeah. But yeah, I can't see I can't see easily the latch, but maybe that's maybe it's not here. Maybe I I am correct on that. Anyway, so you can see we could play the full instrument set just by holding down one key. Very cool indeed. And here on my other keyboard, which is below me, which you cannot see, of course, I can now play the rhythm of each sound or each instrument. So if we go up here, here we go. That's our dolky congas. So this is the cool thing because I, before I played it, I didn't know you could, it, this is what makes it performance based because now I could just choose or introduce the instruments that I want to play in this sequence. So I'll just show you that. Now, of course, it's going to play to the tempo of my door here. So if you wanted that to be faster, you could just ramp up your door here. Nice, right? And then let's say I want that shaker, just make sure I'm rolling in here. Yes, I am. Let's say I want to change that shaker up a bit, right? And we're gonna, I'm going to show you this in a second, but I want to do it right now. Uh, actually, I'm just going to show you right now then. <laughs> we'll go to edit here and we jump down. Where's my shaker? It's here. So I, if you go down to your shaker, you click these little sort of like icons of the different uh, so sequence, I guess that is. Click on that, it gives me a better view here. Where is it? There's my shaker, right? Now, if you wanted to, I don't know, mix it up, they've got this nice little suggest 
uh, sort of like a magic wand thing. So I can press that and give me a different sort of shaker. That's cool. So I kind of wanted something like it's a bit of a 16th with like a velocity curve on it. So let's play it with my other instruments. Now we've got a completely different rhythm, right? How good is that? Take my shaker off. Changes the rhythm completely. Shake it back on. And so if I didn't want to play or do the performance where I had to sort of change each individual key and I was just like, all right, I want to be lazy now, then we just hold down everything. All right, so you get the idea. Let's go back to main because I still feel like I need to show you around main a little bit more. Okay, so we can hover over each instrument like this and we can actually essentially, we can change or swap out instruments in our main view here. Quite simply, we can also turn them off or, or mute or we can solo each individual instrument as well. But let me just show you, for example, this doll key. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's say I'm not happy with that sound. Just press this little arrow here. This pulls up the actual instrument directly and then uh, now we're in sound we've actually gone over to the edit page from main to edit I'm in sound here and I can just click on the doll key and now I have a chance to change it to whatever I want so you've got category instrument and you've even got the play mode here um, you've actually got it it's in doll key now we could even just change looks like we can change the key G, F sharp, and G sharp. That's pretty cool. So let's go hand drum as a category. It's going to pull up all the different hand drums. The doll key is already there. What about the doll luck? The problem is I don't know what half of these world instruments are on it. I, look, I'm naive when it comes to world percussion. I love percussion, by the way, but I'm pretty naive when it comes to this sort of thing. Doll key, drum, hit, bass, mid. Let's have a listen. So there you go. You can just change it. It's going to give me the same sequence. So I guess you just find the sound you like. That's cool. It's got to be a bass. Let's choose that, right? So we've chosen that. But let's say, mm, don't really like the sequence. Again, just click on sequence. You can either draw it in yourself. There you go. Totally different rhythm, right? With my shaker. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you can see it is a lot of fun just creating your own rhythms, and it's super simple. I just did that from scratch. All right, now we can go, we can go back to our main, and we can just totally, let's change to the next preset. So, now we're going to have a completely different preset, different instruments, different rhythm. Ooh. That sounds kind of, that does sound more modern. You can almost do like a house. That's got like a, an almost a house vibe. If I pull that back, probably 127-ish. All you'd have to do and that, to make that a house vibe is you'd have to just change change this. Let's get a hand drum. And I'm just terrible with these names. That, that, that's the only thing I'd have to I'd have to learn. Let me let me get sunk here. Let me just choose something random. I mean obviously you can Oh, listen to that. Imagine if you made that <laughs> and then we just change the sequence. This is easy. You just go like this, hang on. Wouldn't it just be? Wouldn't it just be like that? I'm working on a techno beat here, baby. And then we just want to change. What do we want to do? We want to change your length. Where's our steps? Let's just make it. Just do this. That's the four to the floor, right? And then let's play the others back. <laughs> I don't know, that sound's not quite right, but I guess we can just go through like that. What about, is it, I can pitch it up. Or, oh, that's my steps again. Here, we go back to that. All right, 
we'll get to this in a sec, but you can actually then look. This is the, the thing I love about the UVI instruments is just their simplicity, ease of use, and they're just super intuitive. You've seen how easy it has been for me to just sort of get in here and tweak everything and get it all going. And it's just a lot of fun, like honestly. All right, let's 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 jump over to, because you probably want to check out the other presets here. We can go back to all our different categories here, process, shake and hand drum. But let's check out World Tour. And World Tour is cool because World Tour does have the subcategories. We can go to different continents around the world, Africa, Caribbean, East Asia, India, Middle East, North America, and South America. I'm interested in the Caribbean. And because I didn't really think that they did a lot of this but they must do obviously it's here okay i apologize for not again i'm a naive when it comes to these world percussions okay forgive me all right let's have a look kembo como 124 okay it might be in the house spectrum I'll listen to the full thing Actually, the thing I love about this instrument is it actually takes me back. I was in the percussion uh, school band, actually. I even wrote a song back in the day, like a long time ago when I was in primary school. I even wrote a song that the whole percussion band, the school band played, and that was really exciting. And this sort of takes me back because instruments like this one here, that little, the, the wooden thing, I forgot what it's called, some terrible the name, it says gyro, I guess that's the name, and you'd run a stick over the ribs, would create that sound. This takes me back. With the congas, it's just awesome. Let's keep going through here. Really authentic and awesome sounding, honestly. Okay, we better keep moving on um, what else this instrument offers. But you can see, super easy and intuitive to use, right? And I could play this all freaking day. There's plenty of sounds on here. So just quickly, the last thing I want to show is that effects section. So you can actually do an effects per sound. So we've got our cowbell here. Put the crusher. It's probably not going to sound nice on the cowbell. But you can add drive. I'm not going to do that there. you got a flanger. This will sound okay on the cowbell. Give it a bit of mix. I'm going to add a bit of trippiness. Um, and then, of course, you got different uh, effects like frequency shifter. And you've got your EQ as well. And then you got your effects send down below. So you can add more if you want to have more delay, more re reverb. Turn your frequency shifters and flanges off because that's a bit trippy. Give it some reverb. Turn the delay down. There you go. Okay, so there you can do effects per sound basis, and then you got your main effects that's over everything, which has your effects send. And then, of course, you can go in and change the type of reverb if you weren't happy with concert halls, for example. You've got a whole bunch of speaker, American Transistor, let's have a listen. So it's gonna give us a different vibe on our master effects, more or less. So, I mean, look, it is very self-explanatory as all UVI instruments always are. Essentially, it always seems to be these three pages, but that's all you really need. Your main page where you can overview, see what's happening, what instruments are actually playing, your edit view where you can get into each individual. You can either do your own sequence or you can do the suggest here to get a different different suggestion, which are always a lot of fun, or you can just clear it, start from scratch. And it actually has an offset as well. So if you wanted to have sort of offset your everything else. And that really gives it a human feel. Of course, you got swing down below as well. You want to really just make it like <laughs> probably too much. So you don't want to play with that too much. But yeah, look, all in all, a lot of fun. You've even got this decimate here, which sort of just destroys the sequence, as you can see. Decimates it more or less. And I don't know what else to say about this. It's just freaking amazing. I hope that my demo alone has just shown you how good this instrument is. It is the Percussion Factory. And I 
what can I say? I highly recommend if you're if you need that's the thing if you need an instrument like this in your tracks to warm them up, add a bit of human touch, and you want more percussion. Like I could see this used in uh, house music. I could see it used in many different genres, not just house or dance music. You could use this in basically any genre, and it's going to sound amazing. So check it out. Is it? Percussion Factory by UVI. Thank you so much to UVI for letting us check out the Percussion Factory. Highly recommend. What a fantastic instrument indeed. All right, let me know your thoughts on today's podcast. Are you going to go out and get Fuzz into it? 50% off to celebrate 303 day. Do you need some squelchy acid-based sounds in your life? I realized that was that was to kick the podcast off with that demo it was pretty hardcore. So for those of you, if I rocked you out too much, I apologize. But I'm here for the sounds. I'm not here for rocking you out way too much. Anyway, are you going to check out the? Are you going to get Complete 14 now? Does this push you over the edge to get some of these amazing free plugins? Don't worry, we'll do a bit more deep dive on these in a future video, just so you can see, get a tease of what they really are is the auto-tune vocal compressor for you or is the cluster delay and a creative effects delay plugin for you i mean this one i definitely want to check out by minimal audio because it sounded freaking mint emergent drums are you going to enter the emlin in the mix competition that we're having here which hasn't started yet will you be one of the two lucky winners two copies these these instruments have aided 149 dollars a pop so you definitely want to enter if you want to win that are you going to check out jamstick are you a guitar player and you need midi is this for you and what do you think of the djm a9 leave all your comments down below and last but not least of course percussion factory what an amazing instrument i know it was just a quick quick overview but i think i covered all the bases just so intuitive i love everything uvi do and every time we check out a uvi instrument it just delights me it surprises me and just shows me what a creative and fun company they must be and how they can make something which could be quite this could have been a complicated thing like they could have made percussion factory a complicated thing even for someone like myself who's interested in percussion but doesn't really know a lot about world instruments they just make it so intuitive that I, it doesn't matter if I don't know. Like I know the simple things like your congas and your bongos and those sort of and shakers and that sort of thing. But I don't know when it starts getting to dolky or whatever that is. I don't know what those sound like, but they make it so intuitive and so easy being able to get in there, change the sound, change the rhythm, and it all sounds really real and human. I don't know, man. If that's for you, you go out and get Percussion Factory. I freaking love it. And with all of that said, I've rambled on enough for today's podcast. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it today. And we'll see you next week. The competition will be live by then for you to win Emergent Drums. Two copies of Emergent Drums. Two lucky winners. That'll be live by this time next week for sure. I'll get it done in the next day or two. Thank you so much, guys. Till then, we'll be back. Episode 10 next week. Peace out. Boom. Hey, thanks for listening to the Emlyn In The Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Emlyn In The Mix YouTube channel today. Till next time, keep it real.